Miss Sullivan, are you prepared to speak now? Miss Sullivan, it has been an entire month since the incident. Surely you are willing to speak now. I'm not here to imprison you, you know. I'm here to help you. But I can only help you if you can tell me how you experienced last month's incident. but Quincy believes me. You have to promise to believe me before I tell you. I promise I'll believe you. You can't interrupt either. I won't interrupt you, no. But, you know, I must take notes on what you tell me. Should be here in a minute. She went to brush her teeth. That bed's yours, by the way. Me and Jane likes to stay quiet here. We go to bed early, we wake up early. So that's on the rules that we have here. Right, Jane? What other room most of the day? Just be quiet when I'm here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I'm um, gonna get some shut eye now. Sure. I've had a long day. So. That was it? That's how you met them? You just walked in and went to sleep? I told you not to interrupt! But... Yeah, that was it. And then I had to pee and met Quincy in the bathroom. So that's how I met Quincy. Gonna question that too? Not unless you want me to. I don't. Anyway, I met Quincy. And after that I went to sleep. And after that... After that, I think, is when it started letting me know it was there. What do you mean by it, Dahlia? The monster. Under the bed. You've spoken of this monster before, I believe. Could you describe it to me? Kids are always afraid of the monster under the bed, right? Or in the closet and their parents are just like, it's not real, it's just imaginary. But in my case, that was a lie, and the monster was real. It wasn't the shadows, or the tree on the window, or the house making noises. It wasn't storms or wind. My parents didn't believe me, but I always knew it was there. I could hear it under there, you know? Moving, moving around. What made you think it was a monster? Did you see it? God, no. I, I couldn't look. But I saw it shadow. And I saw the damage it did. How do you mean you saw the damage? It marked up my walls, my floor, sometimes my sheets. And it killed all my pets. 
my hamster when I was six, and my lizards when I was 12, and all the fish and mice I ever tried to get in between. Killed them? How did they die? <laughs> what, you think we did autopsies? I was a kid! I'd, I'd go to sleep with them alive, and when I woke up, they were dead. I never kept one alive longer than six months. I even tried a succulent, which doesn't even need water, and that died in less than three days. <laughs> it just kills everything. Everything! Why don't you continue your story, Dahlia? After meeting Quincy, that's when you realize it was there? So, you said this Quincy was the only one who believed your story about the monster? We got to know each other pretty well, you know? Um, she's the only one there who understands. She had a monster under her bed once, too, but it didn't follow her to college like mine did. Um, but she did have one, so she believes me, and when the rumors started spreading, she, she stuck by me, you know? How did she stick by you? What do you mean by that? Um, pe people would mock me in the halls, and she'd glare at them. Um, she came into my dorm room every morning, uh, so that I wouldn't have to go to class with, with Jane's mocking in my head every day. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know, she, she stuck by me, like, uh, I think like friends are supposed to do. How much experience do you have with friends, Dahlia? Not much, but I'm pretty sure Quincy was a friend. Um, can I go use the restroom? Shall we continue? Not much happened after that. Quincy and I got close, and the monster got louder. That's all. And, uh, and Jane Hayward bullied you, is that correct? Did Kirsten Bellows participate at all? You don't have to go into detail if you wouldn't prefer. Jane did. Kirsten not so much. But I'd rather not talk about that. Can you talk about the incident itself? You've given a splendidly detailed introduction, Dahlia. I guess so. But I don't remember what started it. I really don't. I, I just know... I, I know I didn't do so well on a test that day. I'd had a pretty awful day, honestly. And when I got back to the dorm room, Jane was especially mean, and we got in a big fight, and then they, had, they, they kicked me out of the room, so I had to sleep on the couch, and then Quincy found me. CPD that Dahlia Sullivan suffers from a severe case of schizophrenia and is under the impression her childhood monster killed two fellow students. My professional opinion is that this is false, 
and I must say there is no possibility that Miss Sullivan is innocent of this crime. I know it's pointless, but I stand by what I said when this started. I am innocent. It was the monster.